Some of the best weapons this season aren't dropping from Trials, Iron Banner, or even Grandmaster Nightfalls. Some of the best weapons are world drops and you really just have to get lucky for an engram to drop for you. Things like Heliocentric, Rosarago 4, and Crux Termination. Now there's no real way to farm these weapons out, but they're 100% worth keeping an eye out for. And the weapon we're talking about today might be on the top of that list. We know it's a solar season, so I'm gonna continue to give you all of the best solar god rolls to pair with those loadouts. Now, before we jump in, Really quickly, if this content is deserving, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. You all are the backbone of my channel and I cannot do any of this without you all. I really, really appreciate it. I've been grinding, keeping my eyes peeled like I said, and I finally got it to drop for me. The Parabellum. It's a 900 RPM solar SMG. And this roll I've got turns it into a top contender in the SMG slot for me. If you get lucky, and you get heal clip combined with frenzy, you've hit the lottery, lock it down and you are done. These combinations also with the origin trait, turn it into a really, really strong weapon, not just for this season, but for many seasons to come. First thing we need to touch on is cure. Heal clip got buffed and it actually gives you cure times two whenever you get a kill and reload the magazine. It's very, very strong and that burst of healing keeps you alive in everything. GMs, low to mid-tier content. In mid-tier content to low tier, you're pretty much unstoppable. And in those higher end contents, like GMs, raids, it definitely does a good job keeping you alive in a pinch. Combining that with Frenzy. This is a trait that's been in the game for a long, long time. We all know it. It states that being in combat for an extended time increases damage, handling, and reload speed for this weapon until you are out of combat. Now, being in combat is just dealing damage or taking damage, aka playing the game, not hiding in a corner, Frenzy will always be active. Now, field tested is the origin trait. It states defeating targets or dealing damage with this weapon gradually increases range, stability, handling, and reload speed. It's so, so strong. Now, as you can see, field tested and Frenzy both boost our reload speed and that combines perfectly with heal clip. Honestly, this is, I think, the best combination for heal clip we have. I know the Heliocentric and Summoner both can roll this, but Frenzy and Field Tested both adding to that reload speed just works perfectly. And this is the first SMG to roll heal clip as well. Extremely strong. Now, we're gonna make it even stronger with our subclass. This is getting a little Warlock specific, so Titans and Hunters, I apologize. We're going to be using Daybreak, Phoenix Dive, Incinerator Snap, and Fusion Grenades. Phoenix Dive is very, very important here. We're also using Touch of Flame and Heat Rises. Fragment Wise, Ember of Char, Ashes, Torches, and Empyrean. Now for Warlocks, this is going to let you do something crazy. You can have Radiant, Restoration, and Heat Rises active all at the same time, and all can be refreshed by just getting kills with Parabellum. A buffed Parabellum, by the way. It's extremely strong, and in Add Dense activities, you will really never lose all three of those buffs, refreshing your ability cooldowns and giving you tons of ignitions all across the room. We're gonna combine that with Dawn Chorus. What else? The armor perk is Rites of Ember, your Daybreak projectiles deal more damage and scorch targets on impact. Your scorch is improved and you gain a small amount of melee energy when your scorch damages a target. Really, really strong and in combination, like I said, with the subclass and Parabellum, it gets even better. I'm gonna shift over here and just hover over the mods and let you take a look. Double Harmonic Siphon, Special Ammo Finder, Grenade Kickstart Firepower, Harmonic Resistance, Harmonic Reserves, and a Concussive Dampener on the chest. We've got Double Solar Weapon Surge, as well as an Innervation on the boots. This is pretty important for the build. And then finally, Time Dilation, Powerful Attraction, and Bomber on the class item. This is extremely important for the build loop to grab orbs, increase the time of your damage boost, and just overall let you refresh your perks and your cooldowns even more. 
Next, we'll let's move into the artifact, because this is also important. You're going to need a few things from here. Kindling trigger is important. Radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants. This is how Parabellum is going to apply scorch, and it's really, really strong. As well as Flint Striker, Rapid Solar Weapon Precision Hits and Rapid Solar Weapon Final Blows grant Radiant. So even when you don't have a melee, if it's on cooldown, Flint Striker will refresh your Radiant. It's super, super strong. Revitalizing Blast states dealing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration. This is just another strong way to deal with bigger bosses. And Rays of Precision. While Radiant, Solar Precision Final Blows cause combatants to ignite. It's unbelievable. Don Chorus and our subclass buffing Parabellum is crazy. I'll show you the roll one more time. This is what you want. Heal Clip and Frenzy. And the build loop is actually very, very simple. When you get into the activity, you want to eat your nade to proc heat rises, melee, and instantly phoenix dive. If the target doesn't die, this causes an instant ignition. It's super fun. And this is the cooldown you can refresh with heat rises. Next, slay out with your SMG and get kills in the air, which will refresh all of your three cooldowns, radiant, restoration, and heat rises. You can throw out tons of abilities, melees and grenades, generate orbs, and then use Phoenix Dive again to grab those orbs with powerful attraction, granting you a damage buff with your solar weapon surge, topping off what is honestly a complete solar build, keeping you alive, damaging targets, and just scorching entire stadiums. Screw rooms, we're onto stadiums with this build. And the piece de resistance, Parasite. If something doesn't want to die to my overbuffed Parabellum, a Worm's Hunger times 20 will definitely do the job. This build is crazy, everyone, and I'm going to have this locked down for a long time. I got a problem with Scorn, and I figured with you and me being such good friends, you could go resolve it. Thanks, pal.
All right, everyone, I really hope you like this build and see what you can do and how much potential it has. It's been a minute since I combined all three subclass, exotic, and weapon to create an entire build for you all, and I realize this is super, super fun. If you want to see any other exotics covered, please comment down below or any weapons, and I'll be sure to do a review on them. This stuff is super fun, and it's, I think, what I'm the best at. I appreciate you all for checking out this video and this extensive guide on Parabellum. Please be sure to keep your eyes peeled for this weapon. Again, it's a world drop, so it is a little bit tough to get, but heal clip in combination with Frenzy is unbelievable, and you're going to want it. As always, everyone, thank you all again, and please feel free to subscribe and like this video if this content is for you. I'll see you around. Have a great rest of your day.